Too frequently in this profession, we anchor to the focus on the financial stakeholders. We know, of course, that many people have financial risk when they invest in, lend money to, supply materials to, or work as an employee for a corporation. We also know that these people often rely on financial reports to help them make better informed decisions about their at-risk financial position. However, there's a bigger, broader policy perspective that we need to think about because financial accounting touches so much more than just the financial risk, which can perhaps be best illustrated by the front cover of the 2014 Novartis Annual Report. Notice in the front cover image, there's a patient and a nurse who presumably both rely on the medical technology that Novartis can produce to hopefully enhance the patient's health and quality of life. In that same annual report, Novartis discussed that it was, quote, actively searching our compound library and evaluating molecules that may be effective as a potential future Ebola virus treatment. And think about the timing of this. This came when the Ebola virus was killing many hosts and seemed to be escaping local containment efforts and there was a threat of a global pandemic. So what many people fail to recognize is that issuing credible financial reports critically supports these global health initiatives because they help prevent misuse or inefficient use of funds that arguably should be used to develop and distribute, in Novartis's case, life-improving medical technology. In other words, the financial statements can help inform and support many more people beyond the financial stakeholders, particularly if those people rely on the product or services provided by the company. This latter point can be further illustrated with the fallout from the Carillion accounting scandal, which happened recently. Clearly, with Carillion, the financial stakeholders lost a considerable amount of capital in the wake of the collapse. However, society also lost as well. As a result of the Carillion scandal, for example, communities did not have their hospitals and roads built on time or on budget. Fundamentally, all of us need to consider financial reporting as a social good. It is a social policy issue, not simply a financial stakeholder tool. We also need to consider that advocating for proper financial reporting rules and compliance is a public policy initiative, not simply a business and finance initiative.